If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open, and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house, that my name may be there forever, and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. Now that we know how important it is to know our true names, there is value in the names the Most High gave to the people that is made in his image and likeness. The synagogue of Satan did not go around renaming cities and people with no purpose. The workers of iniquity had knowledge of the power and secrets hiding in the indigenous black people's names. The beast system has taught the indigenous black people to value liabilities over assets. That is why many indigenous black people do not value their legacy, image, history, name, and themselves. The synagogue of Satan has programmed into their minds that these things do not matter. They reinforce the mental programming through discrimination and racism. If you ask most indigenous black people, where did they come from? What is your name? And tell me your history. Most would give you the names the synagogue of Satan gave them and begin their history with slavery. If you ask the indigenous black people to dig deeper, many of them get mad and say it doesn't matter to dismiss the fact that they don't know. Because many indigenous black people refuse to elevate by getting wisdom and understanding, they perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. For a lack of knowledge, the children of Satan continue to reign over the indigenous black people. In addition, carried away their prized possessions and taken over the dominion given to the indigenous black people by our creator, the Elohim of Israel. The kingdom of darkness has done a phenomenal job of getting the indigenous black people to devalue themselves. The modern names given to the indigenous black people all over the world reveal that they are bondmen and bondwomen. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. The last name many of you carry are the last names of the slave masters who bought and sell your ancestors and terrorize your family. The land that many indigenous black people live on is no longer called after their father's name. Your enemies rename every land to steal your inheritance. Your modern name strip you of everything the Most High gave to his people. Last week, you learned a lot is hiding in your name. The names the Most High gave to his people revealed their culture, heritage, legacy, inheritance, history, and bloodline. The names that were given to every indigenous black family clan that populate this earth goes back to the beginning. The Bible has many genealogies that goes back to Adam and Eve. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. For the kingdom of darkness to pass off the children of Satan as a part of the Most High's creation to establish themselves, they had to mingle with the children of men to gain dominion and land inheritance in the earth. 
Satan's children has no inheritance among the people the Most High created in his image and likeness. That is the reason Satan has to steal, kill, and destroy to give his children a place to dwell in the physical realm. In addition, plant tares among the wheat to blend into a group of people that has the opposite appearance from his children. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. If you strip the other species of mankind of the lands they stole from the indigenous black people worldwide, where would their dwelling be? Remember, the Most High distributed the earth to Noah's sons and their descendants. Shem, Ham, and Japheth named cities after their names, their wives, and their children. Their descendants continued this tradition throughout their generations. If the other species of mankind were truly descendants of the ancient people in the scriptures, why do they go as far as to change the names of their father's land and change the names of the inhabitants of their father's land if they were truly descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth? The children of the fallen would be compromising themselves. We all know they support each other regardless of the crimes they commit. How many of you, when reading the scriptures, read about Germany, Italy, Canada, United States of America, Spain, or Russia? None of those names exist in the scriptures. None of these heathen nations are called after Noah's sons and their descendants in the scriptures. These new land names and nations are for a people who are trying to establish themselves. If the United States of America is going to be a nation under God, because that is their slogan, how come they do nothing according to the scriptures and their nation is not called after their father's name? You say you are the people of the Most High and your nations and the way you do things do not match the scriptures, nor does the traditions you keep correspond with the holy days the Most High said his people must observe throughout their generations. For example, the Most High said the seventh day is a rest day. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. The children of Satan follow Constantine and declare Sunday as the Sabbath, a day they themselves declare to be the first day of the week, blatantly disobeying the Most High. The other species of mankind do not sanctify Sunday. They still work and do as they heart desire. How can the people who proclaim to be the ancient people of the Bible, the original people of the earth, the Most High's chosen, a righteous people, build a system that glorifies Satan and lawlessness? You never hear the leaders from the other species of mankind tell their people and the other inhabitants of the land to cry out to the Most High. Fast, pray, and seek the face of the Most High to lead them just as the indigenous black people did in the scriptures, especially the Israelites. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Never in my lifetime have the leaders of this world declared worldwide or on a national level to seek the Most High for guidance. It is unheard of. The children of Satan always come up with a solution for the chaos they create. The other species of mankind separated the Most High from their governments. The Most High said he is the provider and protector of his people. The Most High did not say the heathen's government system would be his people's lifeline. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. The heathens look to the people they place over them for provision. The actions and behaviors of the other species of mankind does not align with the ways of the ancient people in the scriptures, as well as the prophecies for the latter days. 
Israelites, you cannot believe a person simply by their words. Their action must match their words. The scripture said, by their fruits, you would know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. The so-called pandemic would have been a good way to glorify the Most High in mainstream media and governments that are supposedly under the Most High if the leaders would have instructed the people to seek the face of the Most High, the God they believe they are made in the image of to save them from COVID. Instead of seeking the Most High, the workers of iniquity created a vaccine and vilify anyone who speak against their vaccines. A spiritual people would call on the God they serve to help them. The leaders who did instruct their people to seek the Most High, like Tanzania, late President John Makafuli, was murdered and mocked in the media. The leaders in the beast system call on the kingdom of darkness for help. That is why the scripture said we are wrestling with principalities and the powers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The serpent seeds swear that they are the descendants of Noah's sons, especially Shem. The covenant the Most High made with his chosen people come from Shem's blood time. Therefore, the serpent seed is going to do and say anything to claim Shem's bloodline. If the other species of mankind were descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, how come none of the land they dwell on are called after their fathers? The heathens are big on traditions. That is how they pass on their father's iniquity to the next generation. How come they had to steal land and colonize land all over the world to establish themselves? If they are descendants of ancient Israel, Mizraim, and the land of the north, how come they found indigenous black people living in the lands you colonize all over the world? How come the people you encounter all over the world does not share the same appearance with you? How come you had to assimilate into their culture to be found in those regions? And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. I was being nice when I said assimilate. Everyone know what you did to create children in your likeness in the lands you colonize. You left a trail of bastard children that share the same hatred you have for the indigenous black people. Your illegitimate children are finishing what you started. Most of them hide their indigenous black great grandparent in the closet, hoping you would welcome and accept them as your flesh and blood. Because you reject them, they are bitter. They share the same enmity towards the indigenous black people to accomplish the will of Satan. Your biracials, quadroons, and octoroons are oppressing the indigenous black people like their great-grandfathers, the colonizers, to maintain control. Hoping one day you would love and accept them. If your bastard children only knew that love is a foreign language to you, just as truth is foreign to your kingdom, the kingdom of darkness, your illegitimate children will stop trying to win your affection and turn from their wicked ways. The scripture said the most high is love. We have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. To the other species of mankind, how come you found indigenous black people all over the world while exploring the world the Most High gave you dominion over. I thought you are the original people. You should have known about the new world if your people were living there. How come you discovered the new world in 1492? Your people should have been dwelling there long before 1492. The Most High scattered the indigenous black people all over the world after the Tower of Babel. That is how the people you found living in the new world got there. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. 
Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. The Most High gave his creation, especially the woman, the ability to produce children with all features. If you are the original people, how come you cannot produce children that look like the indigenous black people? Your women, the sirens, should have the Eve gene, giving her the ability to have children with all features with her counterpart, the white male. If you are the original people and the Bible is revealing your legacy, I need the scriptures to match with your history. Only the original woman, the one the world called black woman, can produce children with all features. Her DNA is unmatched. The indigenous black woman DNA declares her. That is why you've been trying to destroy and replace her. You can't replace her, you need her. Value yourself, indigenous black people. Israelites, everything said are phenomenal thought-provoking facts that the indigenous black people need to dissect and meditate on. Get out of the European mind control. The scriptures prophesied about the 12 tribes of Israel in the end times. The Most High said he will gather his people, the Israelites, and place them back on their land. Somehow in the beast system, the 12 tribes no longer exist. It is now spiritual Israel according to religion. In the meantime, there is a group of imposters benefiting from the legacy and inheritance of the 12 tribes who no longer exist according to the beast system. The synagogue of Satan proclaimed the northern kingdom, the 10 tribes are missing. I find it interesting that you are knowledgeable about Mizraim, Neanderthals, and everything else. Somehow you discover Judah but have yet to file a missing people report for your brethren, the 10 tribes. Where did they go? Remember, you declared yourself to be wise. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, Currently, the indigenous black people are the largest group of people living in tribes. I have never heard of the other species of mankind living in tribes and identifying themselves by their tribes. How are they the Israelites? The African continent is home to over 3,000 tribes. Each tribe represents a bloodline. Where is the urgency in the indigenous black communities to know their identity? The scriptures reveal many prophecies about the 12 tribes of Israel in the last days. How can the prophecies be fulfilled if the descendants of the ancient people in the scriptures do not exist according to religion? If there are prophecies about the ancient people and their living descendants, that is enough information to reveal the workers of iniquity in the beast system has been lying to you in religion. The Most High declared the end from the beginning. The Most High said his words will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. If the Most High said it, he will do it. Why would the synagogue of Satan conspire to cut the Israelites off from being a people if they no longer exist? Indigenous black people, you must value yourselves. There is so much truth, wisdom, and understanding hiding in plain sight. The time has come for you to spread truth every chance you get. By doing this, the generation that will come after us will know their names. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. Now that you know the other species of mankind does not produce the fruits to be the descendants of the people of the scriptures, but their behavior revealed they are the descendants of the fallen, indigenous black people, if you remain silent about your roots, your legacy will be erased just like Mizraim while his culture and land is occupied by the bastard children of the colonizers claiming his land, heritage, and culture. 
Who is Mizraim? The scriptures reveal to us that Mizraim is the second son born to Ham. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Phut, and Canaan. The B system acknowledge the Hamites are the race of people they refer to as black. When it comes to Mizraim and his land, the other species of mankind declared Mizraim is their culture and people. Ham's bloodline is the largest. Just as Shem's bloodline is coveted by the seed of the serpent because the chosen people descend from Shem's lineage, Ham's son Mizraim's bloodline is also coveted because Mizraim has a rich history. It is the first great civilization of the world. At its peak, Mizraim ruled over many nations. The chosen people, the Israelites, spent a lot of time in the land of Mizraim. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein and grew and multiplied exceedingly. The kingdom of darkness used the bastard children of the colonizers to whitewash Mizraim's history and legacy. Just as the synagogue of Satan changed the names of the indigenous black people, they changed Mizraim land name to Egypt. The synagogue of Satan altered the scriptures to include Mizraim new name. Remember, the indigenous black people always name their land and cities after their names. That is how their descendants hold claim to their father's land. That is how land inheritance are passed down from generation to generation in the indigenous black community. Look at it in this perspective. In the B system, I am a black woman with a slave master last name. My inheritance is unknown versus me knowing my name and identity. I am a daughter of Zion from the tribe of Judah, and I hold claim to my father Judah's inheritance among my brethren in the promised land given to my father Jacob. I hold claim to this inheritance with the everlasting covenant the Most High made to my forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidst unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it for ever. If the kingdom of darkness can use the everlasting covenant in religion to steal the Israelites' bloodline, why are the true Israelites afraid to use the very covenant made to your ancestors to validate your claims? The new name given to Mizraim does not lead back to the indigenous black hematic people. The new name Egypt, and the people are now called Egyptian, is the name the kingdom of darkness gave to the bastard children of the colonizers who dwell in Mizraim's land and kept his legacy. The illegitimate children of the colonizers dwell in the land of Ham as the descendants of Mizraim. While Mizraim indigenous black descendants were pushed out to the neighboring nations and hidden. Just because you conquered the land and rule over the people, it does not make you a blood descendant of the original people living there. It makes you a thief trying to insert yourself into an already established bloodline and culture. I believe the Most High allowed the synagogue of Satan to erase Mizraim from history and his name to be forgotten because of his wickedness towards the Israelites. When the Most High give you into your enemy's hands, the Most High's judgment has come upon you. That is exactly what happened to Mizraim. And all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of thee by thy hand, thou didst break, and rend all their shoulder. And when they leaned upon thee, thou breakest, and madest all their loins to be at a stand. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring a sword upon thee, 
and cut off man and beast out of thee. And the land of Egypt shall be desolate and waste. And they shall know that I am the Lord, because he hath said, The river is mine, and I have made it. Behold, therefore I am against thee, and against thy rivers. And I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate, from the tower of Syene, even unto the border of Ethiopia. The Most High allowed Mizraim to be plundered and destroyed. Mizraim descendants were scattered for 40 years. After the 40 years, the Most High brought them back to their land and their glory was taken from them. The once glorious kingdom has fallen. And I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And the cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate 40 years. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and will disperse them through the countries. Yet, thus saith the Lord God, at the end of 40 years, will I gather the Egyptians from the people whither they were scattered. And I will bring again the captivity of Egypt and will cause them to return into the land of Pathros, into the land of their habitation. And they shall be there a base kingdom. It shall be the basest of the kingdoms. Neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them, that they shall no more rule over the nations. The scripture revealed the Most High gave the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the land of Mizraim. He took all of Mizraim riches. The indigenous black people need to understand you must obey the Most High regardless of your bloodline. Just because you are not an Israelite, it does not give you a pass to sin freely. Mizraim is a prime example. The indigenous black people are made in the image and likeness of the Most High, regardless of their bloodline. The Most High will use the children of the fallen to judge his people. The Most High will even use your own people to come against you in judgment. The Most High used the Levites to slay their brethren when they made the golden calf idol. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. Mizraim was conquered multiple times. Alexander, who is not great, was one of the conquerors of the land of Mizraim. Today, Mizraim is forgotten. Strangers occupy his land and foreigners are claiming his legacy. Mizraim is no longer a superpower nation like they were when the indigenous black people ruled and the Israelites live in the land of Goshen. Today, Mizraim doesn't exist. He was erased. The judgment of the Most High came upon him. Mizraim descendants are now watching from the sidelines as the kingdom of darkness profit from their legacy. The synagogue of Satan placed their people there and assumed Mizraim identity and called themselves Egyptians. Likewise, Israelites, we are watching a group of imposters proclaim to be us in the beast system and they go by the name Jew. Indigenous black people, this is what happens when you do not know your roots and you allow your enemies to tell your story. This is also the result of people who refuse to obey their Elohim. Sin bring death and destruction. For the wages of sin is death. The indigenous black people are not who they say we are in the B system. The synagogue of Satan did not want us to learn how to read and write. The workers of iniquity knew the moment we began to open the books and read, we will begin to remember ourselves. The workers of iniquity forgot about the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit that dwelt in the people of the Most High. One of the occupations of the Holy Spirit is to reveal truth and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. With all the alterations the serpent seed has done to the scriptures in history, the Holy Spirit can fill in the blanks 
and reveal the mystery. Despite history and the scriptures revealing Mizraim, the son of Ham, is a black man, the facts does not stop the other species of mankind from stealing his identity and legacy. Everything great that has ever happened in this world, the other species of mankind believe it was them that did it, stealing the Most High's glory. Israelites, we cannot make blind people see. The serpent seed is delusional. They will continue to misidentify Mizraim descendants and create images of the ancient Mizraim or Egyptians in their likeness until the world accept that they are the ancient people living in the land of Ham. The scriptures did say they painted images of themselves into the book of the law. Satan had to alter the scriptures and history to include his children. If you take away everything they have stolen, they have nothing. Their beginnings would be a mystery to those who do not know the truth. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. The awakening needed to happen. I am glad that the awakening is happening right now, giving the indigenous black people an opportunity to repent. Sin and the mistreatment of the Israelites was the downfall to Mizraim. His wickedness caused the judgment of the Most High to come upon him. Sin is the downfall to the Israelites. The Most High judged his people just as he did Mizraim. That is why the Israelites are living in the land of their captivity in a slave position to their enemies. Repent. Give the synagogue of Satan back their gods. The heathen gods has done nothing for the indigenous black people. You don't want to serve gods made from wood and stones. Run from idolatry and serve the most high in the spirit and in truth. Your bloodline, legacy, history, and culture is worth far more than what the kingdom of darkness is offering you in the beast system. The time has come for the people of the Most High to reject Satan and his children's offers. Submit yourself to the Most High to spend eternity with our Creator. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God. And they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. But they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more.